Hello guys! Welcome to our new channel, The Bayo Bunch Intersected. We are excited to share our new journey with you of our RV life. We don't know what is in the year to come, but we thought we'd take you along for the ride. Enjoy! Yes! It's been almost a week of full time and we wanted to kind of let you know how things have uh, been going and uh, we yeah, started we have by notes. Yeah. So we're official. <laughs> we're official. We started by saying goodbye to our friends and our church family and we pretty much like socialed ourselves out as much as possible in between cleaning our home, getting rid of stuff and yeah. packing up. So, the last three days or maybe week uh, before we left, we had scheduled dinners with friends and family uh, because we do now have family in Houston. And so, it was a blessing in that we got to do community with them before we left. And also, we got some free dinners, like really good dinners. Uh, of course, which was, you would say that. Yeah, free food is the best. Come on. So that or better was, than my food. That's what he's saying. <laughs> that was great, but it was like a good way to say goodbye to people. Uh, we got prayed at our church and uh, in our small group. That was really great. Felt the love of the community uh, and the family. And um, and I think that was yeah. that's probably one of the hardest things we left behind is the people. And so this, it'll probably be one of the harder parts of this trip is um, missing our people. But we're also excited to meet new people along the way. Like today we, we arrived. Danny. <laughs> we arrived at a campsite and Danny was so sweet. So just, he just welcomed us and yeah. was sharing all the things with me where he takes yeah. his grandkids and going cool and places. going and going i'm like yeah we got it set up we just got here and it's raining outside but anyway we're jumping ahead of ourselves uh that actually jumps us about a week uh this is where we're at today this is where we met uh, danny in eureka springs uh we wanted to kind of let you know how he felt driving yep. uh, so driving has been um <laughs> kind of uh crazy uh, <laughs> we are lucky to be alive, thank God. No, it's not. It hasn't been that bad. But there's been some freak out moments. Uh, I do slightly grip the, the door handle. And yeah, Marnie thinks that by gripping the door handle, somehow she's going to be safer. So she just holds on to the handle or the dashboard or something. I'm like, sweetie, that's not going to save you. <laughs> so that's been... Uh, that's been kind of funny. So we are about, I think we're almost 50 foot long, which uh, a semi is 53. So going through tight turns, sometimes if you're not careful, you can take a tree out or, you know, the tree can take you out. Or the stabilizer that may or may not have happened. Yeah. So something happened with the rear stabilizers. It's like a thing that looks like a, an A jack. Uh, it's automatic and it, it, once you park your trailer you put them down to so that there's no movement uh, inside uh, your house your trailer house thing and so I took it uh, I, I went maybe a little too fast actually this wasn't a good driving day everything was going smoothly and then I was trying to let I was trying to navigate through uh, a dip uh, and turn at the same time, like a curve with a dip. And, and a truck coming in this direction. Yeah, and the truck coming uh, the other way. And so I think I was trying to let them be nice, let give them enough space. Well, we almost kind of went off the road and uh, that was a little scary. Not as scary as it may sound or as she made it sound, but we did get a little too low in the back and uh, hit our, uh, our uh, stabilizer which uh, we'll check to see if it's working tomorrow. We'll find out. Yeah, so that's been the driving. He's a, a great, he's great at backing up. We practiced that lots before we left. 
It's all right. And the most important thing is we have arrived safely and somewhat on a timely manner. Yeah. I would say it's been surprising how long it takes to travel. Um, we RV. weren't expecting that in an RV. So just to fill up and yeah. eat. So many steps. There's so many steps to to uh, to set up when you get up in the morning to go. Uh, you have to allocate pretty much two hours to set up, especially if you're a newbie, uh, just to so you're not in a hurry, so you don't miss any any uh, steps uh, and so on and so forth. So yeah. this has been great for marriage communication 101. We're learning a lot about that. Um, so our first stop was to Lake Tawakoni. Tawakoni, and if I mispronounce cities and names, don't be surprised. It's just part yeah, of it. Yeah, we're not completely. We're, we're newbies. Not, we're not grammatically <laughs> correct most of the time, <laughs> or even correct most of the time in general. So that will be something you'll have to get used to. <laughs> yeah. So Lake uh, Tawakoni. Tawakoni. See, there you go. So it was a great first stop. We have a Thousand Trails membership. It was our first Thousand Trails campsite. Overall, it was a good experience. It was quiet. It was on a lake. Um, facilities were a little run down, but the hot showers worked. And we, we were settling into our new home. So I yeah. would say it was a success. It was. It and was where, quiet and it was uh, private. It felt really mm -hmm. good. So, safe we safe. never felt unsafe yeah. or anything so far like we haven't felt any uh we we, we we felt very safe and uh, we went into a small town in hot spring to get our tire one of our tires was kind of leaking some air and it needed to be fixed and uh small town and i've been looking forward to kind of get to know small town america mm -hmm. and uh you know, I think it was it was really good. Um, people were very friendly and helpful, and uh, the store owner, uh, instead of me paying him, he actually asked me to pay the guy guy outside, just give him some cash instead of running me through the register, and he took care of us right away. Like we just parked there, I called him out, and and uh, uh, and he he sent someone to take care of us. That felt really good. So, and our second stop was in hot springs at, up uh, Brady Mountain at a really nice uh, Corps of Engineering camp. It was beautiful, but it was a trek to get up there that was. at night. And we have learned the hard way, yeah. leave earlier so you don't get to the campsite at night. Yeah. So. Trying to never get to a campsite at night. It's very hard to see anything there's not lighting there because obviously it's part of nature for it to be dark so you can look at the stars at night and so fires could look cool so going there at night is a trip today we got to eureka springs and it was in the day and parking reversing was no problem no problem but then again we had danny to help us we went so. to hot springs uh, our first national park and so that was really fun. The kids were super excited to explore the geothermal springs and mm -hmm. the history in um, Hot Springs was really, really cool just to walk around. And Beautiful town and it just feels like just the start of something new, like a discovery that we're doing, our family. Mm -hmm. and the kids just love the experience. Uh, they're kind of in a shock of what we're doing. Non-stop going Tell them there. what Jalen said about uh, what we're doing. I can't remember. Okay. It's going to be it's yours. Like, <laughs> and we're tired, so I, yeah. you might be able to tell. So we were ha we were sitting down at a uh, campsite in Tawakoni Lake, mm -hmm. Lake Tawakoni. Uh, our first kind of dinner together. And Jalen got up and said, Mama, I can't believe that we're actually doing this. I yeah. can't believe that we're actually doing this. RV for a year and he's four years old so just his his introspection I think it was a uh, kind of mind-boggling to me for a four-year-old to kind of realize wow we're really doing this mm -hmm. so that was really cool and just how much they 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 they're loving it mm -hmm. and uh, we've had to talk a lot to them with them yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of been a little annoying because obviously we're on top of each other now all the time 
And well, and it was it's hard after a long road trip because then we're getting to a point where we have to park this thing and we're tired and stressed and they're excited. That's and when so they're waking up from their nap <laughs> and they're ready to go and we're trying to park. And they're just giggling and playing and making jokes. And meanwhile, we're like, oh my gosh, we're trying to park. We don't know how to do this. <laughs> Shh, be quiet. And they just don't understand that. And we don't have cell service and he can't hear me. And yeah, there's no, the yeah. So, so she takes the phone. I take my phone. We're trying to talk, but there's no cell signal. So <laughs> how do you communicate when you're like 50 feet away to yeah. tell me not to hit a tree? <laughs> so. Yeah, it's, it's. It's interesting. So this week we're in Eureka Springs. We're settling for seven days. We're looking forward to hopefully, uh, I'm homeschooling this week, hopefully just getting a little bit more relaxed about things. Yeah, settle. We have it. some little repairs, which we've heard is very normal uh, with an RV. And yeah. um, this is a fairly new RV, but even with new ones, we've heard things break. And so, um, we're hoping yeah. to settle and explore. We're going to the Passion Play. Um, we'll see how work is with service up here and everything. Yeah. So we'll we'll keep you posted and can't wait. Yeah, to keep sharing with uh, with uh, with everyone just our experience and uh, just you know if anyone is thinking on RVing that uh, you know maybe you will ease your nerves or that he will confirm that is not for you <laughs> that could be too so and we'll find out if this is for us or not we are <laughs> take 500 <laughs> what? what is that are you okay <laughs> this we're just trying to say bye so yeah. we'll see you next week <laughs> we're excited to have you guys join us in this journey uh we're tired right now but our next video is going to be way more exciting and uh Follow us. Just At least basically, we hope. I think this will be fun. So, thank you. Bye.